everybody, Susie Q here at Q Aquatics, and today we're going to be taking a look at my blue dolphin cichlids. Um, well, at least that's their nickname. I did a video on the auction, and I'm going to put the link up here where I got some amazing buys. If you have a local fish club, I encourage you to go. You can get some great finds. You can be in the Breeders' Award program and get other people's breeding fish and get them. It's a really good deal. Plus you get to talk face to face with a whole lot of fish nerds. But anyway, if that's okay. Right now, mine are juveniles. So I happen to think these guys are gorgeous and I feel very blessed to be able to have gotten them in the auction. If it wasn't for the very last minute of the auction when they were up for bid and more than 80, 90% of the people had already left, I probably never would have gotten them because the bid would have kept growing, but right time, right place. Now these cichlids come from Lake Malawi. Now I have ambunas that come from Lake Malawi and they are very aggressive and they're the ones that live more in the rocks. Then there's the peacocks and haps which live more in the open swimming. There's two other lakes, well I think there's many lakes. There's a few other major lakes in Africa. One is the Lake Tanganyika, one's Lake Victoria, but right now I'm talking about Lake Malawi. So this Blue sick, I'm gonna call it a blue dolphin. This blue dolphin resembles the frontosa, but they come from two different lakes. I can keep them with my Cynodonus catfish. I have one Cynodonus catfish up there, and I might move them in only because I think that's why I don't have any babies in my shell dwellers, is because of that catfish. All right, so I think I might keep them with if I, if I have any kind of tank mate, I would keep them with a Frontosa, maybe a Cynodona catfish, um, maybe a couple yellow labs, because they get good size and very beautiful. So let's try a little GoPro action inside their tank, because they seem a little skittish. Maybe because they're on the floor and they always see my feet, but I'm going to put a little GoPro in there and give it some time and see what they do. Let's go take a look. This Cercara mori used to be the Hapalochromis mori. So it used to be a half, but mines greater than mine have decided that for I'm sure very specific and scientific reasons that it should be in the classification of Cercara. And they like the sandy bottom and pH between seven and eight. My water comes out at 6.8 right out of the tap. So their substrate has some crushed coral mixed in with the sand and I just, whatever my tap water mixed with that comes out to be, that's what it is. I don't mess with the pH, I don't measure the pH, that's just, just what it is. Um, but once I can identify their sex, I'm going to probably keep one male and as many females as I have and any other males I will remove and take back to my Bucks County Aquarium Society auction. Like at the end of every meeting we have an auction and I'll bring them back so somebody else can be blessed with these males but I don't think they'll be a good fit in this tank. I'm gonna, gonna keep it in a harem-like setting. I am planning on breeding them, and about three years old, they become sexually mature. Mine are babies or juveniles. I've had them for about six months, and uh, the breeder is in my local fish club. And so far, I haven't seen any aggression, you know, tag and chase kind of things. But then when I did my most recent move, I upgraded them to a 20 long and they are loving it. And I know it's just a small upgrade, but I'm in the middle of redoing my basement and building a real fish room. So when that happens, they are gonna move up into a 40 gallon breeder and I'm just gonna keep moving them up until they're into probably, they'll, probably their forever home will be a 220 by the time I'm done because they get pretty big. And I do have five of them, so. So they should develop like a knuckle hum. Knuckle hum? Beautiful blue, their lips are a little pointed. They almost look like people lips sometimes when I see some pictures of grown up ones. So I really like this species. They do get to be rather large. They should be get to be about 10 inches. Pretty excited about that. Thanks for checking out my Sierra Cara Mori or otherwise known as the Blue Dolphin Cichlid. Thanks for checking out my channel.